it was uh, horrific. It paralyzed this small community. Mary Jane Griego was in high school when the bodies of 12 year old Valerie Lane and 13 year old Doris Derryberry were found near Camp Far West Lake in Yuba County. Investigators said both were killed by a shotgun at close range and it appeared one of the girls had been raped. For a period of time we weren't allowed to go anywhere. Um, our parents were scared. That day was very bad to hear that happen. I'll never forget that day. Mary Nava says she grew up with the girls. She broke down at the news that two men from Olivehurst, William Harbor and Larry Patterson, were arrested Tuesday in connection with the murders. It's a God's blessing. They answered their family's prayers and took all the... That day was a very sad day. The whole town was looking for these girls. The case went cold for four decades, but in 2014, it was reviewed to see if advancements in DNA evidence could shed new light. A preserved sample of semen was submitted to the Department of Justice for testing. Police say it was a match to Patterson and Harbor. Well, hooray for technology um, that you can solve a, a murder that was done 43 years ago. Um, that's incredible. And it took all these years for them to find out who did that, and that's awful. Harbor still lives in Olivehurst. His family had no comment on his arrest. Patterson was harder to find. One of the real challenges has been with Mr. Patterson, and that is locating him. We received a great deal of assistance from the U.S. Marshals on that, but we literally were looking in five different states to find him. Their arrests bring closure to a tight-knit community that was left with questions about their neighbors for all these years. Their family members still live in this community, and so I know that there must be some relief that someone is being held accountable for taking their loved ones. Hopefully there's some peace in their life now. The Yuba County Sheriff's Office says Patterson will be extradited from Oklahoma. William Harbor is in Yuba County Jail tonight and is expected to be arraigned tomorrow afternoon at 3. Meanwhile, the families of the victims are asking for privacy at this time.